The rules are pretty simple. There is only two. Rule number one, you listen. Number two, you pass it on. Hopefully neither one is easy for you. It may seem like a small rule now, Justin, but it matters. In the end, everything matters. But what happens when you say you have the best ass in freshman class? Let me tell you, Alex, because you'll never know. It gives people, some people, the go-ahead to treat you like you're nothing but that specific body part. Why didn't you leave me alone, Tyler? My house, my bedroom, they were supposed to be safe for me, safe from everything outside, but you were the one who took that away. Jessica, my dear, I'd really love to know if you dragged yourself to my funeral, because what you did was more than a scratch. It was a punch in the stomach and a slap in the face. It was a knife to my back, because you would rather believe some made up rumor than what you knew to be true. Courtney, remember when we went to that party? Then you said we should split up. And do you want to know what my first thought when you said that was? Gee, that sure didn't take long. You smiled at me. And finally, you said the magic word, goodbye. And goodbye is exactly what you meant. Marcus, for the longest time, from almost day one at this school, it seemed that you were the only one who cared about me. Only to have it thrown back in my face. Will I always be shoved back and pushed around by those I trust? Zach, I needed any hope that my peers might have offered. And you, you took that hope away. You decided I didn't deserve to have it. Ryan, this doesn't seem like a big deal, does it? No, maybe not to you, but school hadn't been a safe haven of mine for a long time. Now, suddenly, even my own thoughts were being offered for ridicule. Clay, honey, your name does not belong on this list. <laughs> it's funny, walking by the house on my way to the party, it felt like life had so many possibilities, limitless possibilities. And for the first time in a long time, I felt hope, but you can't go back to the way things were, how you thought you thought they were. So far, Jenny, you've done a great job of hiding from me. I suppose it's understandable. You'd like to forget what we did, what happened with your car and the stop sign, the repercussions, but you never will. Bryce, you had to see my jaw clench. You had to see my tears. And you kept going. You didn't stop there. So congratulations, Bryce. You're the one. I let my reputation catch up with me. I let my reputation become me with you. How does it feel? Wait, don't answer that. Let me say this first. I was not attracted to you, Bryce, ever. In fact, you disgust me. One last try. I'm giving life one more chance. And this time, I'm getting help. I'm asking for help. I'm asking for help because I cannot do this alone. I've tried that. Of course, if you're listening to this, I failed. Or he failed. And if he fails, the deal is sealed. Every time something bad happened, I thought about it. It. Okay, I'll say it. I thought about suicide. After everything I've talked about on these tapes, everything that occurred, I thought about suicide. Usually it was just a passing thought. I wish I would die, but sometimes I took things further and wondered how I would do it. I would tuck myself into bed and wonder if there was anything in the house I could use. A gun? No. What about hanging? Well, what would I use? Where would I do it? And even if I knew what and where, I could not get beyond the visual of someone finding me swinging inches from the floor. I could not do that to mom and dad. Tomorrow I'm getting up, I'm getting dressed, and I'm walking to the post office. There, I'll mail a bunch of tapes to Justin Foley. And after that, there's no turning back. I'll go to school. 
too late for first period, and we'll have one last day together. The only difference being that I'll know it's the last day. You won't. I think I've made myself very clear, but no one's stepping forward to stop me. A lot of you listening to these tapes cared, just not enough. And that is what I needed to find out. And I did find out. And I'm sorry. Thank you.